Hello friends, today we are going to look at the new features in AutoCAD 2021. AutoCAD 2021 still uses the AutoCAD 2018 file of type. So that way when you create a drawing, when you create a drawing in AutoCAD 2021, you can open it in AutoCAD 2020, 2019 and 2018. But if you plan to open it in earlier version of AutoCAD, you need to change the file of type to that version. The first thing, one of the great enhancements in this AutoCAD 2021 is the trim command. In this release, when you select the trim command, you can go and trim the object immediately. This is a, one of the greatest new features I have discovered so far in this release. In earlier version of AutoCAD, for example, AutoCAD 2020, if you select the trim command, you have a prompt select all objects, select object or select all. The select object option, if you decide to select an object, the object that you select become a cutting edge. Then if I press enter, automatically this object is now a cutting edge. So any object that I select will trim in the side of the cutting edge. If I claim at the, this side, AutoCAD trim this part. So this is one of the new developments in AutoCAD 2021. With the trim command in AutoCAD 2021, if the trim command is active, when you click in an empty area, you get a faint dot. If you move and click to the opposite side again, you get a faint line. If this fence line cross any object, that object will be trimmed automatically. For example, if I click on this area, then I move my mouse cursor and click on the opposite side. All the ob object that the line cross is trimmed automatically. This is not the case in earlier version. Let's go in AutoCAD 2020 and see if you click in an empty area when you are in the trim, what will happen. Now we are in AutoCAD 2020. I'm going to select the trim command. Of course, I need to press enter or the space bar. Now, if I click in an empty area, instead of um, a faint line, I get a crossing window. In AutoCAD 2021, this is not the case. When you click an empty area, you get a line. So if you still need to use the crossing window in AutoCAD 2021, you still have option to use it. All you need to do, go and select the option crossing or you type C and enter on your key. Now, if you click in an empty area, you see the crossing window that the previous version of AutoCAD provide for, for us. The other thing with this um, faint line again, you can use, uh, you can click and drag and any object that you cross will be trimmed. Also, if you want to use the fence option, even though the fence option in this release is not in the option in the status bar you can type f on your keyboard and press enter that way you can draw a fence around the object that you want to trim to be precise when you end your selection press enter autocad 2021 trim the object the other new option in this autocad 2021 if you select the trim command you can now trim trim a single object to make this explanation clear, now if I select this, since this object join with this is a polyline, the polyline is in this polyline we have an arc and a straight line. So if you click auto AutoCAD trim this object. Also, this is a rectangle. If I click, I can trim the segment of this object. But now if I click on the single arc, the arc, the arc is gone. You see, I click on this arc, this ellipse, this, this, this circle. This is not the case in earlier version of AutoCAD. In the, this option more or less act, acts like the erase command. Let's go to AutoCAD 2020 to demonstrate this point further. In AutoCAD 2020, if you are in the trim command, select object that is not intersect any other object, there is no way you can trim that object. You see, for this one, you can trim the polyline because this polyline made up with a with an arc, with a line and an arc. But the 
the, you cannot trim the single arc. So one of, this, is, this is one of the great improvements in the trim command in this release. If I draw a single line like this, then I'm now in AutoCAD 2021. Then I select the trim command. AutoCAD 2021 trim this line. But if I switch back to AutoCAD 2020 and draw a single line like this, then I'm going to select the trim command and press enter. You see, you see the no sign next to the cursor. You cannot trim this line. The other option in the trim command in AutoCAD 2021 is that when you trim an object that crossed an arch pattern, for example, this line cross this arch. In earlier version of AutoCAD, if you trim an object, a line that cross an arch pattern, the arch line considered to be a boundary, a boundary for the trim for the trim command. But in AutoCAD 2021, the trim ignore the arch line and use the boundary of the arch as a cutting edge. Let's demonstrate and see exactly what I'm trying to explain. Now look at this. Let me select the trim command. If I avoid the mouse cursor, as you can see, if I click, the line will trim at the extreme end of the boundary of the arch. To explain this further, let's jump to AutoCAD 2020 and see the difference. This is the same diagram in AutoCAD 2020. Now, when I select the trim command, of course, I need to press the spacebar or enter. Then if I want to trim this object, you see, I can only trim from one arch line to the other. So this is one of the new feature in AutoCAD 2021. This improvement is not affect the trim command, the extend command. In AutoCAD 2021, when you select the extend command, AutoCAD still consider the arch line as a cut as a extending boundary. So this option only work for the trim command. The other option, the last option with the trim command in AutoCAD 2021 is that the erase option. Some people call this new feature. To me, this is not a new feature because it has been in AutoCAD for a quite a long time. If you select the erase option on the status bar or type E on your keyboard, you can erase, select object that you want to erase. When you satisfy with your selection, press enter. AutoCAD erase all the object that you select and reverse you in trim mode. This is sometimes called a transparent command. But honestly, I had some people saying that this is a new feature. This is not a new feature in AutoCAD because, because it has been around for a very long time. The one that I consider to be a new feature in fact, the one that is a new feature and I consider it to be an erase command is not an erase command. Just that AutoCAD can now trim a single object without intersecting in any other object, which is impossible in the previous release of AutoCAD. For example, AutoCAD 2020. All right, now let's jump on to the I'm, I'm in AutoCAD 2020. In AutoCAD 2020, when you go to the Home tab, Modify Panel and click the down arrow, let me pin this panel, I want it to stay open. You have two options, you have two icons here. This is the break command, this is the break at a point. Even though this command has two different icons, in earlier version of AutoCAD, for example, AutoCAD 2020 and below, this is not two different commands. This is the command. This is an option to this command. If I demonstrate something, you can understand exactly what I'm trying to say. Now, if I select the break command, then I select this line, pick this line. If I move my mouse cursor, I can break this line into two segments and make an opening to the point where I click for the first time and the point where I click for the second time. Now, if I press enter, AutoCAD repeats the break command again because in AutoCAD, when you press enter, the previous command can start immediately. Now, let's go to the Home tab, Modify panel again and select the break at a point. Now, when I select this line, then I move the mouse cursor, I click for the second time. What AutoCAD does is that it divides the line into two segments. You see, 
but in the previous step that we take when we use the break command then i press enter the break command starts again now i have just finished the the break at a point so let me repeat the command again select the break at a point command pick this line then i pick a point somewhere around here now you see i have already divided line so if the rule is true that when you finish a command and press enter the command will start again that means when i press enter at this point the break at a point command should start so let me press enter or the space bar and see exactly what i'm trying to see you see now I'm going to select this object. The break command starts because the break at a point is not a command in earlier version of AutoCAD. For example, AutoCAD 2020 downwards is just an option. Despite of it has two icons in the modify panel. Now if I shoot over to AutoCAD 2021, AutoCAD in AutoCAD 2021, the break at a point command is now a stand alone command on its own. So if I select, let me repeat the same process that I did in AutoCAD 2020 so that you can have this concept clear. Let me select this command and pick this line. Now if I move my mouse cursor, I'm going to turn the object snap off for the meantime. If I click on this point, I break a point at the middle of this line. Now if I press enter, click this line again and move, the break command still repeats. So let me select the break at a point command in AutoCAD 2021 and select this line and I move my mouse cursor and click. Now AutoCAD divide this line into two segments. So let me press enter to repeat the break command again. If I select and move the mouse cursor, AutoCAD also divide this line into two. The point here is the point that I'm trying to emphasize. The In AutoCAD 2021, the break at a break at a point is a stand alone command when you start it and end the command after that you decide to use it again if you press enter the command will repeat whereas in earlier version when you use it because it is an option it's not a stand alone command it is an option under the break command if, if you use it and use the break at a point command and press ent and press enter after the completion instead of the break at a point command the break command repeats instead so this is one of the improvements in AutoCAD 2021. Now let's go again to another new command which was introduced in AutoCAD 2019. Um, we have the in the utility panel we have the Joe Measure command. This command has been a long time for in AutoCAD for a very long time. This can allow you to measure geometry, geometry on the screen on the screen so that you can have an idea what is the distance and the angle. So in AutoCAD 2019, Autodex introduced the quick measure. With the quick measure, whenever you have your mouse cursor, you have the measurement of all the objects that closer to the cursor. For instance, when you look at the position of my cursor, you have a line above which is 32.3802. Uh, the bottom, you have a line which is 25.8336. Then the distance between the two lines also display. So this is this box this rectangle is six by eight eight by six the circle is two units radius the rectangle the base is eight units the hypotenuse is 10 units and the angle is 37 degree now in this release if i want to know the area of this circle all i need to do pre click enter when you do you see the area and the perimeter of the circle. So if I want to add another area to this circle, for example, if I click on the circle, then I want to know the total area of the circle and the triangle or the two parts of the triangle. All I need to do, hold down the shift key and click. This can allow you to you see. This can allow you to now, if I click into this rectangle, the area of this rectangle and the circle and some of the triangle that I select also add together. Then the other thing that I want you to know, when you click, the moment you move your mouse cursor away, the green field is gone. The green field only appears to show you that, to show you the area you have selected and give you the distance and the perimeter. So if you want to add another area, before you move the mouse cursor to the point where you 
measure for the area hold down your shift key and click the additional area that you want to add you can also hold the shift key to reduct an area that you want to add. let's go back to the circuit form. and something that just happened which i want to explain further now if i click on this area you see the area is 12.564 and the perimeter is 12.564 this is just a coincidence that doesn't mean that whenever you select a circle the area and the perimeter can be the same to demonstrate this further let's copy this circle so that you can see exactly what i'm trying to see now i'm going to select this circle then i move it away I copy it away. since for the sake of argument since i copy it up i'm going to dimension i'm going to use the quick dimension the quick measure tool so that so that you can see the area before i scale it now if i click again the area is 12.5664 and the perimeter is 12.5664 now let's select the circle go to the home tab modify panel and select the scale command i'm going to turn off the object snap turn on the object snap turn on your object now if yours is off if you don't see the center object snap all you need to do right click in the menu that appear and select the center object snap at the center for the scale factor type 2 now the circle is two times the previous radius you see now it's four unit radius so now if i click you see the perimeter is the area is 50.2655 and the perimeter is 25.132 which is different the perimeter is different from the area so if we click the smaller circle the perimeter and the area is the same so just to explain that this one is just a coincidence it's not always the perimeter can be the same with the circle the other new features in autocad 2021 is that the improvement on the block palette now if i go to the insert tab and click the down arrow under the insert you see all the block in the in the current drawing now if i click the reference block it's bring a palette you have the current drawing this display all the current projects that are in the drawing. You have recent. This will display all the recent recent block that I use. You have the library. This can allow you to import a custom library. In earlier version of AutoCAD, for example, in AutoCAD 2020, if I go to the Insert tab and click the down arrow, then select the block reference. This will bring the palette. As you can see, this is the current drawing. The recent if i recently use file and other drawing this can allow me to open another drawing but in autocad 2021 you have the current drawing recent if i recently use drawing and library so what this help you to do here yeah, the improvement in this feature is that you can open a block library and that library be part of your project So you see, the block on that library are now in my project. So you can click this, this block and place them directly on your projects. So because I just used this block, now I have something in the recent tab. The other great feature in this release is the revision cloud. Now, if you go to the Home tab and click the down arrow next to Draw, I'm going to pin this panel so that it stays open and select the Revision Cloud tab. Then click. Without adjusting any other setting, the Revision Cloud is now displayed exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now, if I select the Revision Cloud and hold down the Control key and type number one, you see this brings the, the property palette. In the property palette, the revision cloud is now released as a ref cloud. But if you want to modify this further, you can change most of its parameter in the property palette. But in earlier version of AutoCAD, for example, at 2020, if I go to the home tab, draw panel, again I'm going to open this panel and select the revision cloud command. You see, now when I try to draw the revision cloud, it appears just like as a normal line. The acts are there. The only thing is that the default arc is too small for to display well in the screen. 
So in earlier version of AutoCAD, you need to change the setting before you start to draw the revision cloud if you want it to appear the way you want it. Sometimes the revision cloud appear very small, very big. In most cases, it appear very small. So when you go to the draw panel and select the Rift Cloud command, the first option to look at in the earlier version is the arc length. In AutoCAD 2021, AutoCAD take care of that problem. Even though if you want to select that setting and changes, but the default in most cases can work just nicely. This is one of the greatest features we have in this release. The other great feature in this release is the drawing compare. In this release, Autodex improve on the drawing compare greatly. Now, if you change and if you reference a drawing and someone or you modify that drawing, the next time you open the drawing, the main drawing, you see a notification that can notify you the drawing is being referenced or example. So now, look at this site plan i have already referenced it somewhere in the project so let's assume that there is another road this road extend in this direction so i'm going to use the extend command i'm going to use the extend command and extend this road extend this road Now I'm going to use the break at a point to break this line. I'm going to use the delete command. I'm going to click the space button. So if I go to the main project and open this project, you see, I get a notification. The project is already updated in this new file, then I already get a notification. Compare AutoCAD 2012, compare AutoCAD 2020. Compare AutoCAD 2021 external reference by. Then if I click on this notification, what AutoCAD does is that it draw a reference to the new object that I create, the difference between the old and the new objects. You see, these are the some of the objects that I trim. If I click next, AutoCAD take me to the next object that I delete. Now I can click OK. I return back to the normal drawing. OK, guys, these are some of the features in AutoCAD 2021. As time goes on, I bring more features to you. Please like and share this video to motivate me to create more video. Please also like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much for watching.